187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. Oh, homicide. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. <laughs> Don't say Just anything. Just get over there. Just get your ass over there. <laughs> okay. Morphine, you say. Okay. Oh, actually, hey. Can we go out this way? It looks rather beautiful. Oh, no way. Can I go jump? Oh, of course I can. Now, let's, let's go, Roy. What's with that getup of yours, anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Fine! Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Well, apparently I can't change my like suit. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I can't change my really suit now. You're joking, Roy. There we go. There. I'll wear uh, Chicago Lightning. I'll, uh, I'll represent. Seems Whoa! We recovered the morphine. Nope, that thing looks nice. Some of it might... How are we gonna look getting around in this thing? Corey? We're gonna look bad ass. American La France Fire Truck. This thing looks bad... Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of LA forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. This is badass. I don't even care. I would make this into my police vehicle just to ram into people and be like, Get out the way! Just like this. Get out the way! <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can cut through this guy's arm. This way! Okay. Coming through. I don't like the tinging, but the the that doesn't sound that bad. Are you trying to mow them down? Right here. I don't see Rusty's car anywhere. I wonder if he's inside. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. Nice looking place. Right there. Hey, Bukowski! Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Oh, Good nice! To see you two want a hug? How can we get on with this? Relax, Rusty. Rusty! Dude, it's like a family reunion. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Sweet. My two favorite partners right there. Fuck the guy who's with me right now. Whoa! Phelps, Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? No, yeah, I took a look. Be my guest. Okay, here we go. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Her neck is bruised pretty badly. Yeah, it is. 
wonder what happened there. Dang, that's bruised. Oh, hey, it's a ring. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Look at her uh, nails. I think she was. Maybe they're not. They're not done right. But it looks like she might have been scratching something. And then over here. What is it? A bite mark? Bruising on the forearms and. Yeah. These look like bite marks. Very good. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. Oof. Or put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surrettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Thanks, brothers. This is her in these photos? Something else. Incidental. I. Anything else in here? Miss Julie w was. Pretty girl like that. Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? Maybe she got her heart broken. Couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself to the bath and down some hills. And then she just ripped it off. Looks like barbiturates. Julie, I don't know what barbiturates are. Had so much fire. But. So much drive. What do we got here? Barbiturates. What else is rattling around Thank in this you. thing? Thank you. Okay. Sleeping pills. That's what barbiturates are. We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Take one capture after a meal. No, wait. Well, I want to read it. I wonder. <sighs> Can I read it? Thank you. Prescription for the course of in amphetamine. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. She would get like super sleepy and then. Oh, hallelujah. No, this way. I don't want to talk to you yet. Where's the kitchen? There's not a kitchen in this joint. Oh, thank you. Nice ladle. Nice big old smarter man than me to connect spoon. that. Rolling pin. Actually, is this just bread dust? I don't think this is going to help us. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of flour. An iron? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Yeah, it might be. I don't want to talk to her yet. What's going on here? This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Oh, hey, I can further investigate it. Thank you. Investigate. Nothing. I've been a modeling assignment. Yeah. Dunnies, maybe? Oh, D is C. It's place to start. I'm working Tuesday. Come keep me company? Ask for Mrs. Rand. Okay. Is there a note in this one? Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Talk to the missus right here. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. 
If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in I contact. Think, I think this lady, she gave a, uh... She was another person that we did in an earlier case. I don't know, can't remember which one, though. But her, uh, her face is the same. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. That's lying. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. <laughs> you're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. Oh my god. You know something! Tell me! What was it like, working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Uh, please don't take away truth. Doubt. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high-strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. You haven't been helpful at all, you lying bitch. Hey, guys! What's up? Can I talk to you guys? I haven't got time to jaw, Cole. The captain wants me to make this case. Aww. Hey, quick, quick pick for the, for the Facebook. Chick! Yeah! The three best buds. It is the three best friends that anyone can have. Okay, so if I was a killer, I'd go out the side entrance. And I might dump them in the trash can. Maybe out the window. I don't know where that would have lined up, though. None of this garbage, though. Is there a trash bin on the corner? Or maybe a trash bin in the hallway? In the plants? Ooh, got it. There we go. Mal will be pleased. Yeah, there's some morphine. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. Can the I autopsy will confirm it one way or another. Can I uh, inspect it at all? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go, Goofy. In this case, we'll take the we'll take the fire truck as long as you we gotta can get. You gotta be kidding! We're driving this. Yes, we are. I missed something, apparently. Oh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? At least I think this is I think this is where we were. Yeah. Oh, I missed something. Yeah, fine. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Right here. Her coat. Quality English smoking I think our jacket. work is done here. 
I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Okay. Smoking jacket. Was that actually a clue? Good. Now I think I, hopefully I have everything. Now, on, Rusty. there we'll we go. Take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? <laughs> Pretty, uh... You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. It did bring a tear to my eye. What's wrong with I you? I love those two way more than you, dumbass. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if it You idiot! I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing off his lunch. Any of the vicinity officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highlands Avenue, 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 1825 How much damage can we do if we hit him? If we hit you straight on, do we kill you? Oh! Oh! We went right over you! Oh god. This thing's nice! You're doing this on purpose! Dr. Stoneman's practice. Want to open a window? Not here. Miles Archer. Very Here, war. Stoneman, Office 505. Yeah, there's an elevator. Going up. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Yes, sir, your name? Hello. LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no <laughs> need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. What patient would that be? Who are you, punk? Dr. Stoneman? 
you investigating <laughs> the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall? I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. How did you know her? How well did you know Ms. Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Is that necessarily a lie? Six months in July 46. Hey, you're lying. You are straight up lying. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Yeah, right here. Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. Weight loss? Really? You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. For Benzedrine. Send up in, in prescribed. See, but. Let's try we believe Ms. Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? That is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor, young man. He did it. I am well aware of what is prescribed under the Harrison Act, Detective. If you wish to make any other ridiculous accusations, I suggest you direct them to my attorney. Oh my god, shut up. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. What do you got around here? Doesn't look like anything. Nope. Oh yeah, can I inspect ship behind your desk? Damn it. What are you here for? Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. I don't even know what sciatica is, but yes it is! It's more important, because maybe the doctor was messing up shit. I don't know. He, he killed the woman. Maybe. <laughs> These elevators in the 40s sound like so, like, like, strong, like, boom, boom, and when they lift, they go, <laughs> the old boys want Hey, what's in here? About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. Why is there a side door? I have a feeling that I have to come back here. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. We are ditching the fire truck though. And picking up a a Packard. Let's get a Packard. Out of the car, police. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got something to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's true, though. Everyone will spill their cuts when they're drunk, right? Where'd you learn? Nuts and... <laughs> Look at the guy running! Apparently I scared him. Uh, 
I understand you, but thousands wouldn't. Well, hello. Hello. What can I help you with today? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. Jeez. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. <laughs> very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Hmm. That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Whoa. Yes, that is. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Oh. Henry is your okay. beau. Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She's pretty. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. There's nothing to inspect in there? Damn. Okay, who am I calling? Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Yes, please do. Please, thank you. Was it an overdose? Uh, Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Matt. We'll be right over. Okay. Investigate the Hollywood morgue. Okay, let's go check that out. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, fella. God oh, damn, God. maniac! You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Yeah, it looks like the exact same model as a central morgue. Oh, 
Oh, this is his. It is. It's the exact same model. Yeah, that's okay. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. Whoa, what the hell? You're the hell only person the enjoying this, guy? Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. Who's this guy? All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. What is that? I can look at this guy? Holy shit! He got the hell beat out of him! What's going on? Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. Hon the only other things Hon he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Oh, it's a harmonica, okay. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. <laughs> Doesn't know how to keep friends, does he? Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. Interview two. Hey there. I said we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Interview two. Right. Mr. Arnett. Who the hell are I'm you? Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. Nice so jacket you're wearing there, buddy boy. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. Really? And you were close. We were friends. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Hmm. I'm here of my own free will, detective. I'm I don't know what the- I don't know what the offer! The last thing I'd want to do is lie. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But, like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put really? him in one round. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting 6th. You were in the 6th Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. Hmm. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to the captain? <laughs> yeah! Have him check the place Go out. Go Cole! Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. 
Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Keep driving. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. See, like, I, I know when people are lying, I just don't know what off evidence to offer. Come on! Get to where you're going, boy! Get to where you're going! Dude, even, even Roy moves, look at him. He's shaking like a little bitch. Look at Roy, <laughs> he's bobbing his head. <laughs> You don't mess with a war hero like Phelps. He knew he was in Okinawa. That's actually pretty neat. It's money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Why did he dump the car? Risk is in the trail. What are you doing? The tree's right here. I was gonna hide behind. Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm I'm just a cop. I'm just doing my copy things. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Huff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. It's all good. I'll just be hanging over here. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. I'm not losing the trail. Slow down. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. He did not see me. I'm just, I'm just a guy hunking a tree. It's normal. I mean, I like trees. I like nature. It's okay. It's okay. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Fine, game. You wanna be a prick? Seems like right here. A nice boy, putting all those what are you doing? Look! I'm not doing anything! Move in. Can't 
I risk losing the truck. I don't know Puff how to get out. to him. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Fine, you want to play like that? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just look. It's five percent off. It's great. It's a great deal. I'm just checking out the deal. <laughs> God damn it! Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. He just got a teammate! <sighs> it's okay. Move in. Can't risk losing it's the trail. Okay. Puff it, Phelps. He won't I'll see bring me the this car time. around when I'm done here. I'm gonna be completely inconspicuous. It's not letting me! Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go! Run, 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 run! Are you serious?! Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car Stop around. Stop it, babe! I'm not too far away. I'm too close to him? How does he keep seeing me? Hey there, how are you doing today, sir? You doing pretty good? Okay, I'm really far away from you, so... You shouldn't be able to see me even if you want to. See? You're, I'm really far away from you. Even if you had 20-20 vision, you wouldn't be able to see my face from this far. That's that cop. What are you doing? Like decent guy. You've got to be kidding me. This guy is really good. Apparently. Move in. I risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Too much slack. I get closer. See me through that. Move in. I risk losing the trail. Thank goodness. You won't be able to see me from all the way across here. Go ahead, do your little crossing. You ain't gonna see shit. Get over here. And voila. Too much slack. No, I don't. Gotta get closer. No, you don't. It's in an alley. Shit. Run, 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 run.
Hey there. Okay. What is this place? That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Okay. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. Thank you. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Oh my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. <laughs> the guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least ten large for a cigarette case. Ten Our grand? Our only got six hundred clams. Ten grand? Dearest Beverly, with my love and affection, always... Jay? Dang, dude. Car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating. Oh my god, uh, we can hear it from out of the car. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna... Apparently you have to call someone, so let's give him a call. That's the guy from the papers. Solve that big case. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How could I help, Detective? Up the rest of that movie. Any you? messages? About time somebody... Yes, Detective. Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Okay. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood 9th Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thank you. Thank you. How close is this guy? A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Let's meet up with the, the guy on his beat and see if he knows anything about the, our possible suspect. We might get there quicker if you use the siren. Can we try not to kill anyone? Oh, hey! Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. You better stop shooting! I'm only gonna shoot you in the legs, I'm not gonna kill you guys! I don't know what you did! You need another gun over here. Find some cover! Stop firing on me or you Where will die you now. Here? One chance, you will get shot if you do not comply. Stop! Goodbye. What are you? Jesus Christ! 
took a headshot. That's a strong fuck. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. Got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat Willie. of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. Okay, Willie. You haven't done too old, badly yourself. The big old strong guy. I wonder... <laughs> New POI, Willie? Question mark. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. It's about to hit someone. Got up with Mal. He hey, the what's up, Rusty? He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary <laughs> angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer, Rusty? It could be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we, Roy? Stefan? Finbar? <laughs> Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? I want to make Thomas die. Cigarette you case, it. okay. Uh, Where gold. No, gold. Okay. Gold. Oh, see it? You were smoking a cigarette in the other room? No way. Tunarba. Cigarette. Can you identify the man in this picture? Wood case, blue enamel vase. Well, are there any leads? Watch, Bible. Drinking glasses, silver pill box. Is this a picture of your car? Ah, go no, right here. Fabergé gold cigarette case. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move oh, this while under a murder must cloud. Must black sapphire ring. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Do I need to throw this out? I'm talking to you. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Arnett is a cad. Pearl ring. Did you know, Mr. Lukowski? He did not get. I can't think of anything else. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Oh, silver pillbox. Wow. Okay. Mrs. Evestrom. Hey, you think those bikes are going to die? Mouse of course, stripped off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. 
Mr. Red Nice Car, you are now gonna be my car of choice. LAPD, police emergency. Be careful with it. Oh, suicide doors. Oh, what is this? The cord hardtop. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Valves, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance. What are you doing? Valves, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. You're a Boonaroo case, man, Phelps. One of the best I've ever seen. Thanks. You gotta learn to take a compliment, Phelps. A hopped up model, a cat, and a circus freak. Only in LA. Only Fairy LA. tales of the rich and famous. More like pathetic tales of the desperate to be rich and famous. Junkie Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ! Arnett, LeBlanc, and Willie. Don't you go putting the pieces together again before they fit, Phelps. Listen to your old pal Rusty. Or should I say Finbar? Look where you're going! Oh, going over! I wouldn't call him that if I were you. What do you care? It doesn't sound like you're the top of his Christmas card list. He gives everyone a hard time. That's just how he is. Whatever gets you through... What are you doing? Whatever gets you through the day, Cole. Thank God we're not in my car. Most informative. Thank you. Whoever this person is, they must live in like a really rich part of town. The walls are in their house, apparently. Nice place. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? What's going on here? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Uh, I don't know if you're lying, but I'll doubt it. So you have no it's idea lie. who did this burglary? A lot of these cases tend to be inside jobs. How dare you impugn my character and the character of my staff? If you have no further questions, I suggest you leave. So I was supposed to just tell her that a certain things were stolen? That lying bitch? Okay, fine. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Uh, she wants money. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. Stoneman? I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You've only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, detective. 
What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. Uh, you have met uh... my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives uh, uh... recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation! Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. <laughs> she did it. New location. Way to hit me, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna give you the ride of your life, baby. Here. Arnett is obviously arranging the baby. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you, there's Christ! We're gonna go on a fun ride, lady. You're being ridiculous. Both of you, there's there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for Phelps! Hey. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a Okay, passing. you guys better hold on. Open your eyes. I know what I'm doing. Yeah! That's what I call a ramp. I need how the sun's like shining its light through the thing. There's no more fun things to do. It's just racing around. Oh, that stinks. I wish there was more parks to go off roading in. Oh, ouch. Are you crazy? Let's go see what's going on here. Are you Overall, it's a pretty nice building. Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Apartment 30. Okay. I suppose it's the top floor again. Well, isn't this just nice and awkward?
what's happening here. Oh no. Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on, Put get your off, hands bro. in the air! Yeah, what's going on here? Go down, get duh! Him. LAPD! He went back up? Don't make me chase you! Okay. Apparently I have to cross this thing. Stop or I will shoot! Oh god! Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. You came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> keeled over. <laughs> How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? City. You told Heather you're hunting mooning without her? Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present from my parents. <laughs> yeah, right, liar. What else you got around here? No good here? to me. else in here? No. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and LeBlanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. You're not in the fashion business. I know you're not in the fashion business, I just don't know what to tell you why you're not. Miss Swanson might be gullible enough to believe your story, Arnett, but I'm not buying. You're involved in a burglary scam, and so was Julia Randall. I'm a legitimate businessman. I can't speak for Julia. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather, if she'd have me. Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. What else? He wanted Julia Randall out oh, of her life. Oh, God. Why would he want that? Julia was our friend. Julia was his hump, sweetheart. They were the Bonnie and Clyde of society burglars. He met you and realized he didn't have to steal anymore. He could just mooch from you. He needed Julia out of the way. Julia was insatiable. She didn't care about anyone. Not the least me. She was never going to go back to the poverty she came from. I wanted it to stop. Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson.
Hmm, what do I tell them about Henderson? Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. No such person, Detective. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't know what to tell him. I Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. <laughs> God, I can never get the I can never get them right. I always mess it up. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. What the hell? I didn't hit that tree. Shut up. That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, boy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you. What's wrong with you? Up to the top floor. Let's go get him, boy. Doctor to give us something to make this all better. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you <laughs> with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. <laughs> Tell us the truth. I'm so glad you came. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet, I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She... never really cared for me. <laughs> Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. You're under arrest, buddy. Ah, uh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife, or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Okay. I done. Ah! Oh no! Didn't see that coming. Well, there's a reason that was open, I guess. <laughs> he just Operator, bends over and calls the guy. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. I need an ambulance and the coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. Okay. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. Let's get down there. That old boy really fell for that broad. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. Don't suppose I should You're go check out the body. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next Damn, guy. Damn, dude. As long as are in their place and doing what they're told. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. Come on, buddy. Let's finish this case. Uh, right across the street. Really? Okay. I guess that works. <laughs> that close to the dock's place, huh? He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. <laughs> a harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Wait. Pull. You hear that? Yes, I do. It's coming from the alley. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. Ooh, nice gun. I hope this guy doesn't have to, doesn't end up having to kill him. I, mean, I don't, I hope I don't have to end up killing him. We gotta get somewhere in this case, you know, gotta know who did it. You're not the only one in the street. He's just chill his room. Chill down. Chill out, man. Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is. Waste the son of a bitch. Waste him? Okay, I'll waste him. Ooh, see you later, Bridge. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. What the fuck? Well, you had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. 
You guys did good work here today. Roy! Who the fuck says that I about a dead body? Buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Jealous. That guy was fucked up, though. We have to get off of this hill! That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole! The 22nd are still fighting! Oh! Oh, jeez. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. Oh my god. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here! Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. He didn't do shit. didn't do shit. Wow.